what you mean. Break it through glass cages inside of me. Surfing and swimming in a never ending sea. Finding missing puzzles to keep. Crack the cracker for everyone to sleep. Illusions walking and living like zombies. Allowing people to play with my mind like chess piece. Stole the key to my psyche. Now for years I just wanna hide me. Deflowered and free. Initiations with time and my Hello, hello, it's your girl and I'm back with another reading. Um, this is going to be a message for the Jupiter and Aries transit for Aquarius energy. Um, this is for anywhere you have Aquarius in your chart, whether a planet aspect or a um, your house. You want to check your house in your natal or progressive charts. Okay, be sure to watch all 12 videos so you can get a full panoramic view of what this Jupiter and Aries transit is going to be like. Okay. All right, um, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome as well. Please be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel before you leave. Hit the notification bell so you can know when a new video will be available, as well as leave a comment below to also help support the channel. Let us know here what resonated and how it resonated for you, okay? So if you would like a personal reading regarding this transit or any other astrological or tarot you can click the link tree in the description box below send me a direct email message or you can book your appointment directly on square link okay let's get into it supernatural communication or you could be communicating with the supernatural or in a supernatural way um i do see this as like um an increase in telekinesis telepathy um or your clairs are increasing as well the supernatural is what I'm, the word I, I keep seeing is supernatural super something you're good at you're about to get even better at it you're going to the next level mastery above mastery level oh shit okay right. and this is the third house right because Aquarius Pisces Aries yep third house energy so third house is all about communication messages short distance travel um your neighborhood siblings um your learning process mental capabilities um, mental powers um so whatever you've been learning or how you you're going to master learning something and you're going to be supernaturally good at it and we know jupiter is all about our deep studies as well Starting into the point of faith. So it's something you wanna you're learning how to have supernatural faith in yourself. So whatever tools you use, they're gonna be a source of magic to your supernatural capabilities that you've um been practicing. Message is routine. Yep, I can see that. What's changing? Destiny. And a sign of initiation complete. Fourth house, where Jupiter is going next, your roots. So, whatever you're learning, um, Neptune sacrifice at the bottom. Neptune. Grandmother energy. It's 
So Neptune is definitely supernatural. Um, this is the energy that is beyond Saturn, so it's beyond our 3D reality. So you're definitely going to be tapped into your Neptune energy, which I was watching the Priestess Offset. Um, she was saying how uh, Neptune is the path to, I believe she believed it was Neptune is the pathway to your power and then Jupiter is how um, it'll be experienced and to look at that in your chart um, but yeah Neptune here at the bottom of the um, deck is saying to me like that, that, that does basically like the activation that's taking place throughout um, you, you do regardless of what sun sign you are check your Neptune and see where it is in your chart you could have Neptune in Aquarius this is definitely um, Saturn is trans in Aquarius right now so if Saturn is conjuncting your Neptune this is a very 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 big event that's happening for you right now just just saying um, whether it's your first or second um, first or second Saturn return um, is very important right now but if you have Neptune in Aquarius this, this is your first Saturn return that is taking place right now and you are being activated with a plethora of knowledge for you to start utilizing right now which makes sense with this being in your third house that you will start to just take up things very fairly quickly like you don't have to put in as much time and effort to learn something like everyone else and you may start noticing that okay so let's look at this um Overall message is your six house routine. Six house is health, routine, exercise routine, like an earthing routine, breaking things down. How you break things down or information down is going to be way easier. Routine, overall message, routine. Okay. So we got the six of wands with the ace of wands. What's six and one makes seven, right? So this is pure intuition. And seven is also linked with the planet Neptune as well. Your Maya energy, um, the moon energy. So this is um, water. Seven. Um, but this is recognition. And you're recognizing that there is something um, more. Um to life than maybe the job that you have or the job that you thought you would um have you got the two of cups and the three of wands that i'm looking at like you're starting to connect with your um soul tribe or you're starting to connect with your soulmates or soulmates um they're coming to you um you may meet them at your job or you have may have met someone at your job um but i do see this as you like you're recognizing that it's time for you to disconnect or distance yourself from certain things that are not gelling with you anymore it's very important that you do that and make a routine of weeding out people places and things that and food definitely food as well that's no longer serving you because you see through the illusions that are taking place right now and although you are a younger generation neptune and aquarius um you are of a younger age then a lot of people in the workforce you see what is to come you're recognizing it and you seeing yourself in a future that's outside of the routine or modern day slavery routine that was given to your foremothers and forefathers you're you're seeing a way through it or around it or above it and you're going to take it and make something happen with it so what's changing is your destiny you're changing your destiny. Yep. Ten of Pentacles, baby. Money. Okay. You see an opportunity, but you gotta make a sacrifice. You gotta sacrifice an illusion or a belief system. You gotta believe in yourself more than you did in the 
words of those who meant the best for you. That's what you you recognize that you're going to have to sacrifice the way that other people used to live and how you even used to live and got comfortable with because you know it's not it's a dead end it's not going anywhere but you because you recognize that you have the power to change your destiny you you want to go ahead and do it and thinking in abundant in your community abundantly will help you do that sign of initiation being complete when it's all said and done um because this is a year transit so you got a whole year to recognize the opportunities in your routine for you to grow and expand in your self-belief so that you can change your destiny to the path you know you're meant to be with this soulmate card at the bottom okay uh fourth house We got the Five of Cups, leaving something behind, the King of Cups, and the Two of Swords. Oh, wait, something is behind here. The Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords was behind this um, King of Cups. It's like you you may be hiding the fact that you have a situation on your hands that requires immediate response. You may be ignoring someone. I also see this too as this year transit is going to help you reconnect with um a spiritual routine that can help change the destiny of your life because now you'll be reconnected to the roots that you once lost you're not sharing this information with anybody but with the tool of source 1212 here coming up as well that's crazy. You got the seven of wands at the bottom. This is definitely like ancestral protection. You already know what decision to make. You're just not telling anybody what you're doing. But you're definitely reconnecting to an energy or supernatural energy right now. And it could definitely be like your ancestors, um, your guardian angel, or someone who's meant to be in your life and protect you. They're here to be a part of your life and help you level up. They may have died, so it could definitely be someone from your direct family lineage that's here to support you. It could be a water sign or an air sign. A grandmother with Neptune energy someone from your um, maternal line but they're here to protect you and help you with making decisions moving forward getting out of the hustle and bustle of the old way of you know making a living for yourself they're going to help you get out of that um rabbit hole <laughs> okay Create a sacred space for work and home. Or create a, create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. So, yeah, you need to, if you don't have an altar, you can go ahead and create one. Um, now is the time for deep emotional healing. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be reconnecting um, with the spirit. And it could be, you know, someone from your maternal line or your grandmother, your mother's mother. Um, it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Libra, Gemini energy, but they're starting to communicate with them. 
You're, I mean, they're starting to communicate with you more. Make sure you leave water out for them. There, they're coming to you. They're coming to you. If they haven't made themselves known already. Um, if they haven't, create a sacred space so that they have a point of contact with you, which is like an altar. So the sacred space that you need to create is an altar space. Um, it doesn't have to be big or, you know, fancy. It could be something very simple. Um, just make sure it's a space dedicated just to them, solely for them. And it could be one or multiple altar, I mean, people, um, your ancestors on the altar. But make sure it's just for them and nobody else, okay? So, um, yeah, you're moving forward to with your recognition, with your success. Um, you're using it to shine light on another. You're using it to shine light on other opportunities for you to grow but whatever stagnant energy that you've had in moving forward with your connection or intimacy with other people um the spiritual the spirit god is going to assist you with making the decision so you can get out of your head and allow things to just flow way easier than they've ever flown before because you know you are protected and you have spiritual guidance okay and that's all I have for you so far right now. Aquarius Energy, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time.